Welcome to KCPE 2023 revision. We are going to be solving the 2022 past question. So just stay with us as we solve the questions. Okay. So uh, the first question says, what is this figure written in words? Now for you to solve this, now notice you have to break this down. This is 4003. Zero, 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 00085 so the first thing i'll advise you to do is to put a comma after every three digits starting from the end so that's now if you watch this is what 400 million because this is six zero so this is 400 million okay having noted that this is three stands for what Three hundred thousand. So this is three hundred thousand, and this is um eighty, and this is what five. So let's see the option that matches the correct answer. Okay, option A says four hundred million three hundred. Now notice this says three hundred thousand and not three hundred. So A is wrong. B says 400 million and 3,000. B is wrong. Um, C says 400 million and 30,000. So um, this is wrong. D says 400 million, 300,000 and 85. Therefore, option D, it's the correct answer. So that will take us um, to question two, which is, what is the total value of digit six in this number? Five, nine, six, zero one two and four so the easiest way is bring out six and make the rest zeros so you put your comma so this is what sixty thousand so the correct answer here is c so i'm going to mark my c so as easy as that you can keep solving these questions don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to um follow us on um, youtube now the next question says which of the following statement is correct now notice it said 0 0.95 it's less than 0 0.095 so this is option here it's wrong 0 0.075 is greater than 0 0.75 0 0.75 is actually greater so this is wrong um, 3.85 is less than 3.75 you that is also wrong because you count 3.75 before going to 3.85 1.25 it's greater than 0 0.125 so this is correct so the correct answer here is c question 4 says um, what's the value of 8 square minus 8 divided by 4 plus 3 so for us to solve this what we would do it's um this is going to be 8 square minus um okay so let's take it a bit up so that we can have space so this is going to be um 8 square minus 8 all over 4 plus 3. So for me to solve this, this 8 square is going to give me 64 minus 8 all divided by 4 plus 3. So this is going to give me, when you do 64 minus 8, you are going to get um, 56 all over 4 plus 3. So 4 here is 1, 4 into 5, you're going to get 1, you carry 1, 4 into 16, you're going to get um, 4. So this is equal to 14 plus 3, and that will give us what? 17. So final answer, 17. So I'll circle my C. So the next question says, uh, question 5 says, a teller had 24, 3 over 4 meters of a clothing material. The teller sold 1 over 3 of the material and used 1 1 quarter to make a shirt. How many meters of the clothing material remain? Now, the first thing I want you to understand is he had a total of um, 24, 3 over 4. And if you convert this to improper fraction, this is going to give you, uh, that will be 99 over 4 meters. So now, notice he sold what? 1 over 3. Sold. So we need to find the remaining. The remaining is going to be 1 minus 1 over 3 and that will give us 2 over 3 remaining now if he has 2 over 3 remaining now let's get 
the actual amount remaining so that would be 2 over 3 multiplied by 99 over 4 so uh that would be 3 here is going to be 1 3 into 99 is going to give us what that's 33 so you have 2 here it's 1 and you have 2 here you get um, 2 so you have um, 33 over 2 meters remaining remaining so this is the amount remaining now from 33 over 2 uh he used one one quarter meters to make a shirt now one one over four for shirts this means this is the same thing as five over four so we will now do this is five over four meters so we are going to do 33 over 2 minus um, 5 over 4 to get the actual amount remaining. We we'll take our LCM to be 4. So um, 4 into 2 is going to give us 2. This will be 66 minus 5. So from here, we are going to get what? That's uh, 61 over 4. And 61 over 4, changing it to a proper fraction, it's going to give us uh, 15 whole number. 1 over 4. Final answer. So the correct answer here is, uh, sorry, this is 4. The correct answer here is B. So I'm going to circle uh, my um, B. So question 6 says, work out that equation you see here. So for us to work this out um, now, what I want you to know is that we are going to be applying the board mass rule. So we will apply the board mass rule. Now, uh, remember it says um, bracket first, then office second, then division third. So we're going to use it in that order. So this is going to be 1 over 3 of, um, this is 1 over 4 plus 3 over 5 divided by um, 1 over 4. Now, this will be 1 over 3 of, now this is going to be um, the LCM here, it's 20, this is um, 5 plus 20 into 5, that's 4 plus 20 into 5, it's 4, 4 times 3 is going to give us 12, divided by 1 over 4. So this is going to be 1 over 3 of, this is going to give us uh, 17, over 20 divided by 1 over 4. Now from our board mass of comp second, so this is going to be 1 over 3 times 17 over 20 um, divided by 1 over 4. So from here we are going to get, um, this is going to give us uh, 17 over 60 divided by 1 over 4. This is equivalent as 17 over 60 times 4 over 1, changing the divide to times. So this will be 4 here, it's 1. 4 into 16 is going to give us what? 15. So 17 over 15, 17 over 15 is the same thing as, uh, that's going to give us uh, one whole number, 2 over 15. Final answer. Now you can see that the correct answer here, it's what? C, and that's our correct answer.